Welcome to the Church of St. Francis of Assisi as we celebrate the Eucharist on this Most Holy Trinity Solemnity. This Mass is being celebrated for the intention of the special intention of Sandy Lira and for the repose of the soul of Dario Gabrielli and Antonia Martinez Garcia. Please silence your cell phones before the liturgy begins. A second collection for the annual Catholic Appeal will immediately follow our regular collection. Before we begin, we ask all new parishioners and those visiting our parish to please stand so we may thank you for joining us in our celebration of the Eucharist. Now let us all stand and greet those around us. If possible, present yourselves by giving your name. Please join me in the prayer for the Synod, which can be found on the virtual worship aid or in the bulletin. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partially influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father, and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing, and let us take a moment to center our hearts and minds in sacred silence. Let us all sing together our gathering song. I sing the mighty power of God.
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Welcome to this solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. We are celebrating the different ways that the Lord has revealed, God has revealed it to us, and we know him by this mystery of the Holy Trinity. We know that every time we pray, we say the sign of the cross, we say glory to the Father, and he always is to acknowledge the Holy Trinity as part of our lives. I ask you now with the devotion to start our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this holy, most holy trinity solemnity. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to my brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brother and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us now glorify God in three persons. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth
us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. His ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old, I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth while as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set free for the sea its limit, so that the water should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craps craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of the earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Peace. 
beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Oh, Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Reading from the Holy Gospel, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that my father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters, once again. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. Are you ready? Are you ready to listen to me? Are you ready to listen to the Holy Spirit? Well, we are here today 
to celebrate the solemnity of the most holy trinity, which is the summary of theology of who God is and how it was pleased to him to reveal himself to this world in three persons. We are contemplating all in the great Trinitarian mystery of God, yet three persons who make one God. And this is summation. It is illogical in an ordinary sense, but in a spiritual sense and in the world of faith, it is a perfect reality. Our readings today refer to God. The first reading taken from the book of Proverbs talks about a wisdom which was there in time memorial. And this, if we listen carefully, we will come to know that we have also a passage similarly in the New Testament, the prologue of St. John, when he talks about the word was from the beginning, it was with God, and it was God. This proverb tells us how God existed before everything, and how he promoted this word and he created everything that is within. We see God who is eternal, God who existed before everything else and before you and me. That's why when he created the world, he said, let us make a man in our image. Our image, who are these? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Some people say it is a language, majestic language that people say, instead of saying I, you say we have decided. But here, God, or the word of God refers to a true, a real, a true reality that was there before everything. And therefore, in a sense, today, we celebrate the feast that uh, is the only one in our calendar that we talk of the Trinity, most holy Trinity. We know that Jesus has got many feasts, but the holy Trinity is the only one which summarizes all that we have learned, all that we wanted to know about who God is. And therefore, it is a feast which we practice, which we remember and live in our day-to-day -day Christian life. As I said at the beginning of this Mass, that we acknowledge the most holy trinity in all our prayers. Whenever we begin our prayers, we speak of the sign of the cross, which knowingly or unknowingly we acknowledge and profess the holy trinity. When we say a glory to the Father, we glorify the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All the blessings that we invoke God, it is granted by invoking the Trinitarian God. So we know the mystery of incarnation. We know the mystery of resurrection and the event of Pentecost that we celebrated last Sunday. And this brings all the summary of the mysterious revelation of God to his people. A teacher wanted to explain in a simple way what is the feast of most holy trinity. So told his students, 
You know, mathematics, it is a difficult to sum. To sum, it is easy. But I'm going to give you a very simple but a difficult question. And it says, we know that 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is a 3. But when we talk of the Trinity, we talk that, we say that 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 1. Do you agree with that? Yes. They said, no. <laughs> we know it is a 3. I said, no, it is 1. Then he started explaining about the Father, about the Son, and about the Holy Spirit. They said, okay, it brings sense, but not in an ordinary sense. It is through faith that we can understand this mystery. And even to know God, we don't, go, we don't know God by speculation. We need to believe in him and then we come to know him. Without faith, we may not discover who God is. So dear brothers and sisters, another example is that famous example of St. Augustine, who met with an angel in the form of a little boy along the beach, trying to dig in the sand and take the water of the ocean to fill in this small hole. And it comes Augustine asking, hey, little boy, what are you doing? I'm trying to empty this ocean into this small hole. They say, you are crazy. It is not possible. Then the little boy turned to him and said, yes, this is likewise the way you are thinking about the Holy Trinity, it is not possible to comprehend with our little oblangata. We need faith to understand it and in not using our own uh, intellect. This shows that the mystery is well understood by faith and as we have heard, by hope. If you have faith, you have the key to understanding the Trinity. Dear brothers and sisters, on the Most Holy Trinity Sunday, the first thing that we must recognize is it is a celebration. It is not trying to explain the Holy Trinity. It is celebrating the Holy Trinity. It is the feast of a relationship that exists between the three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The God who revealed himself and spoke to us in many ways and lastly spoke through his Son, Jesus Christ. So the divine relationship is also extending to us by means of faith which makes a strong tie strong bond between us and God. Therefore, if you are looking for God, you need to look for him in your heart through the relationship that each one have with him. And when we talk about God, very often the idea comes we talk of God the Father. But when we mention the name God, we have to include all of the three persons. St. Teresa of Avila says, do not look for God outside of yourself. Search for him within yourself because he dwells in you. And you will remember from the scripture, Jesus says, if you love me, if you keep my commandments, I and the Father will come and make a dwelling in you. This is the God who came down to us. We have to know him by the relationship. As they lived, the three persons of God, they related and they collaborated. 
God works with us as he did with the people of old. We must discover him in our own history of life and think of him in terms of one's own history and how God has touched your life and mine and sustained you and me until today. So today we celebrate this solemnity. Let us think of our relationship, how I relate with the three distinct persons, yet only one God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is this feast that some people blame us, telling us that we are believing in three gods. Many of the other faith they say, you talk about the Father, you talk about the Son, Jesus, you talk about the Holy Spirit. Means you have three gods? The answer is no. One plus one plus one is one. They cannot understand this unless they have the faith like ours. Secondly, this feast is a feast of community. It is a community life in which love prevails and stewardship is strengthened. It is a caring community whereby the Father creates us, the Son saves us, and he lives with us, and the Holy Spirit inspires us, comforts us, makes us aware to what is in our hearts and he guides us safely to our home. We want to be in communion with them as the Holy Spirit is brought to continue the work begun by God the Father and by God the Holy Spirit, God the Son. Dear brothers and sisters, God is all around us, but until we discover him within us, and uh, he will always be remote from us and he appear unfriendly and uncaring. When we have experienced God within us, we will see creation as a work of an artist who is a friend to us. One God in three persons a God who is within us and yet utterly beyond us. This is a great mystery, but it is a mystery of love. So, dear brothers and sisters, God does not watch us. God watch over us in the three persons that revealed it to us as God. And here I would like to um, copy a poem that it tells us God watches over us. That's why he came as the Father, he came as the Son, and as the Holy Spirit to take care of us because God does not want any one of us to be lost. Here it goes. Nowadays, thank you to the security camera, we are often being watched watched by a cold, dispassionate eye, intent only on watching us in wrongdoing. The feeling that someone is watching us is not a pleasing feeling, but the feeling that someone is watching of us is a lovely feeling. God is not watching us. God is watching of us. The conviction that God is watching of us gives us comfort in times of sadness, strength in times of weakness, and hope in times of despair. The triune God watches over us daily. He is with us and within us. So let us discover his presence in every moment of our lives whether it's a moment of pain or it's a moment of joy, this Holy Trinity is with us. 
let us pray for each one of us that our faith may be strong, may not be waved by the hearsay of other people that we are believing in three gods. We are believing in one God, but who revealed it to us in three persons. It is love that extended it to us. It is care that is extended it to us. And that's why you and me today, we are here to celebrate not only this mystery, but to celebrate our faith. Amen. Amen. Our faith it tells us that we believe in God who is expressed in three persons. And this prayer recognizes and acknowledge it. Let's pray together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and the earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things we are made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and upon his Pilate. He suffered death and he was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and in the life of the world to come. Amen. With hope in, ab in the abundant goodness of our loving God, we bring to him our cares and our concerns. For all clergy, may the Holy Spirit fortify them in their gospel mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them into wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering burdens of any kind, may the Lord fit his yoke upon them easily and help them give everything over to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord use our burdens, weaknesses, and failures for moments of grace and goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into perfect union 
with God and all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For the homebound, the sick, Pedro Gaona, Robert Padilla, Rosa Cortez, Rosalinda Cisneros, Dennis Easterling, Mary Bick, and for their caregivers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, Narciro Gutierrez, Mr. Adolfo Castro Guzman, Mr. Roberto San Juan, Ramon Enrique Sanchez, Gulmaro Acosta Rivera. May they rest forever in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This Mass is being offered for the special intention of Sandy Lira and for the repose of the soul of Dario Gabrielli and Antonia Martinez Garcia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions written in our book of petitions and for those intentions we carry in the quiet of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty and the ever-living God, we ask you to look kindly upon your servants gathered here and hear the prayers we offer through Christ our Lord. Let us all sing together the song for gifts, God beyond all names.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, our God, this oblation of our service, and by it, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is a truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but a, a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit so that in the confessing of the, tr of the true and eternal God had, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Indeed, holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on our journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and you drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The Ministry of Faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you have led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and he granted that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of our eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together with the Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, John and Ramon his auxiliaries, with the, all of the bishops, priests and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust in the world, into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters for whom this mass has been offered, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. They are in communion with you, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and the martyrs, and St. Francis of Assis and St. Clare, and with you, all of the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and the honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and from the by divine teaching we dare to say our, our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven give us this day our daily bread, bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another now a sign of that peace. 
Be holy, the Lamb of God. Be holy, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not to owe thee that we should enter my room, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us all sing the song for our communion. I has not seen.
Since you are children of God, God has set, sent into your heart the spirit of his Son, the spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us a health of body and soul. As we confess your eternal Holy Trinity, and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us listen to some announcements. The parish office will be closed between the hours of 11.45 and 2 p.m. for a staff meeting on Tuesday, June 14th. Thank you for your understanding. Celebrating Dad. We will be honoring our dads, holding our fathers in prayer, whether they live among us or have gone before us to eternal life, is the most beautiful gift we can give. Special envelopes and cards are at the church exits. Please return the envelope with the name of your loved one and your donation by placing it in the collection basket or returning it to the parish office. Million Dollar Meals for the Poor presented 
by the Deacons of the Diocese of San Diego event will be hosted at Cathedral Catholic High School today. Bring a team, bring your family, ages four and up, packing hope, one meal at a time. Join our social justice ministry at St. Francis for the affordable and low income housing action meeting with Vista City Council members. Wednesday, June 29th, 7 to 8 p.m. in Father Ullman Hall. The event will be in English with Spanish translation available. RSVP to Teresa Perez at Teresa at SDOP.net. Snacks and refreshments will be provided. The Young Adult Ministry has set up information stations located at each entrance of the temple and office. Young adults between ages 18 to 32 seeking their vocation as well as high school graduates can take an information sheet, scan the QR code, and register to become part of the Young Adult Group and join our next event. The Deacon's Mass is coming. Please join us to celebrate our new Deacons on Monday, June 20th. We will have a bilingual Mass at 7 p.m. Snacks and refreshments will be provided in the halls afterward to celebrate their dedication and vocation to God. St. Francis currently has an employment opportunity for a person with knowledge, skills, and experience in electronics, computers, sound systems, recording, and streaming. Who is a leader willing to work with a team, good presentation, and attitude of faith and respect for the church? For more information, come to the parish office. Please be sure to take home a copy of the bulletin or visit our parish website at St. Francis of Assisi Vista for more information regarding the announcements just made and activities in our parish. So we are all invited to accompany our deacons on Saturday as they will be ordained in the Vegas uh, uh, of Mount Carmel Parish. The Mass will be at 10. We are all invited to give hugs to them. On the Feast of Ascension, we received good news from the Vatican that uh, our bishop was appointed to be in the College of the Cardinals. And it was a great joy for our diocese. After Pentecost, we received another good news that our auxiliary bishop, John, has been appointed as the bishop now of Phoenix in Arizona. So we continue to pray for both of them that their ministry will be successful and bear fruits wherever they are. But we know our cardinal will be still here. We have not heard anything. Having said that, next week will be the Father's Day. Mother's Day already we celebrated. So the Father's Day will be coming up. And uh, as we heard today, the Father has got his own uh, responsibilities, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So we pray that our responsibilities as the fathers, I'm also a father to you, that my responsibilities 
also may bear fruits. Let us receive a blessing which we invoke the Holy Trinity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all sing our sending forth song, Holy God, we praise thy name.